of the parting ways with our web ATF. I head to Yanabashi Shrine. I need to get exercised. <laughs> really? I seriously doubt that the Maquis Crusade ATF was a ghost. Regardless, it's natural to seek an exorcism after such an experiment. I'm Japanese, it's in our blood. Really? Is it? Japanese people, would you get ex uh, exorcism after this? I don't know. Yanabayashi Shrine is located on the other side of Canada. Canada <laughs> River, not Canada River. To find it, enter the first side road after crossing Manabashi Bridge. It's a small shrine that doesn't fit with the surrounding multi tunnel buildings. Kanda Moj Mojin is the more famous shrine in Akiba, but I de deliberately chose this one. This shrine is so small you could easily miss it if you weren't looking. Regardless, I can hear the sharping of shipping of Kikadas from the few tree growing here. Are you is here? Ah, uh, it's Akiman! Tututuru! Tututuru and you too, there are two girls standing in front of the main building. One of them is Mayuri. Mayuri? Oh, the other is a Dosa, looking beauty in traditional Miku attire. I've seen you also. I mean, I look at a lot of fan art from a lot of things, okay? So I've seen her. I don't know what you do in the story. I mean, I saw one where she seemed to be using time travel for evil, but otherwise, I'm not sure. Will you be evil one? Are you part of the organization? I I shouldn't do this assumption. Rishi, Rishi, Rishi Abara, Luca, a stunning example of feminine charm and grace. Lips delicate, like cherry blossom in bloom. I don't see that. Descent of Japan, Japanese beauty. The chief priest son. Oh, oh. That's right, son. Lovely in every way, but he's a guy. Good afternoon, Akabi-san. He bows his head. The voice of a girl, the mannerisms of a girl. More femi feminine than any girl I know. Even Mayuri? But he's a guy. <laughs> <laughs> Taller than Mayuri. Yet. Oh, so slender. But he's a guy. <laughs> Why do you have a problem with that? Looks stunning in Miku robes. But he's a guy. <laughs> Holding a bamboo broom, apparently in the middle of cleaning. But he's a guy. <laughs> it's almost evening, yet still hot as hell outside. But he's a guy. No? But he's a guy. <laughs> Damn. Sikiras. One chat up. But he's a guy. Uh, look at you. That blade I gave you, what happened to it? He's a friend of mine. I call him Lukaku. We met when I rescued him from some aggressive photographers, photographers in Akiba's pedestrian heaven. It also so happened that Lukaku and Mayuri are classmates. I learned that fact after I got to know him. Lukaku is taken aback by my sharp question. He stares, fidgeting with a flushed face and tears in his eyes. Um, you mean Iman Sad Samide Samiade? Correct. I brought it for you so you could learn to control your power. Eh? Uh, yeah, you brought the blade. It's a blade works, right? I think you said it cost 980. Don't say another word anymore, and they will come silence you. Hmm. Uh, they gonna silence me? Thanks for worrying about me again, but who are they? Hmm? Who are they? I ignore Mayuri's question. Ah, so Lukaku, are you making sure to practice with Samidar like I told you? Uh, yeah, I do practice swinging once a day. As long as you're carrying it and master the Sushishin Salama school of swordsmanship, you can prevent the dark flame inside you from consuming your soul. What? 
Demon Sword Summit. Some other, maybe an imitation sword, but that is only the form it takes to hide from the world. When one worked to wheel it appears, it unleashed its true power. And it was on sale for only 980 yen. Tax included. <laughs> Thank you, Akabe-san. It was a wonderful present. My name isn't Okabe. Yeah, it's Okarin. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course, I know that. I'm sorry, Kuyuma-san. As long as you understand. Now, speak the words. <laughs> ah, I'm El Sai Kongalu. Kongalu? No, not Kongalu! Kongaru! Ah, yes, yes, of course. El Sai Kongaru. Did, did I get it right? Lukaku smiles happily as I nod. Ah, thank you. Such a lovely smile. <laughs> but he's a guy. <laughs> uh, do you really care at this point? Uh, such a beautiful master disciple relationship. I hear it's not a big issue, but she's getting a little excited, eh? Ah, Majori san, please don't imagine such a thing. Yes. Though we do have a master disciple relationship, I, Huyun Kuyama, have gone to great lands to brainwash, um, I mean, teach Lukaku about the evil conspiracies that rule the world and how to resist them. That stuff about Demon Sword Summoner is part of that training. Look outside, Lukaku is very obedient and hardworking. Plus, he's always eager to learn new things. A master couldn't ask for a better disciple. But he's a guy. Oh? No? Though he does have the weakness of not catching on too quickly and being too shy. But he's... No? Oh, you stop doing that. What are you doing here, Mayuri? I came to see Nick Kim. Kamas coming up next month. And I want him to just be as correct. Kira Ray, Kira Ray Shan from Reddit, but he wants a yeah. Mm -hmm. But cosplaying, that's just too embarrassing for me. But I'm sorry, y'all. Look, Red, in it, huh? The phrase someone this kid can't be a girl is really popular, you know? Come. Come on, make a cosplay. Cosplay the beer. Mm. Mayuri's hobby is making costumes. She made at least 30 so far, but it's rare for her to wear one herself. Instead, she seems to get her kicks from seeing other people wear them. I mean, I can see that. Also, saying you wouldn't have that sharp thin eyebrow without sharpening doing them. So, if you stop, Doing that, maybe you look more like a guy if that's what you want to. I don't know. Maybe she wants. He wants to look like a girl. I wouldn't. Damn that, I mean. I'm transgender, so I can't really say anything about it. And it looks like she shows a Lukaku as her next target. Naturally, the costume Mayuri is currently raving about is for a female character. Which would match perfectly, right? Normally, I would understand when I, why a man wouldn't want to dress like a girl, but come on. Lukaku has no problem wearing Miku robes. Why should a cosplay be any different? Yeah, I thought so, these robes were only for girls, but I wouldn't want to say anything to seem like, oh no, I don't know anything about Japanese and culture or religion or anything like that, so I just put a foot in my mouth. But yeah, apparently he also thinks like it's only for girls. <laughs> but whatever, I have business to take care of. Save the travel stuff for later. I'm here to get exorcism. Uh, but it's really important to what you see, huh? And it's trivial to me, and I'm the only person in the universe that matters, really. Don't you know? Anyway, Lukaku. There's a good reason for my being here today. 
I need you to perform an exorcism. Ah, an exorcism? Then I'll go get my dad. Please, what? No, it's nothing that serious. I just need some peace of mind. That's so. That's why I came here instead of Kanda Shrine. So, with that said, bring out the usual. Ah, the usual. You mean Samida? Samida? No, who the hell uses a demon sword for an exorcism? The usual for exorcism sh should be obvious. Um, um, I'm not an exorcist here. My dad is. Maybe I should get him? I don't know what it's called, but it's that stick with the zigzaggy paper thingy that the priest does a shaky thingy with. Incense? <laughs> that sounded really dumb, Akarin. <laughs> Quite a shock to hear that from Mayuri. Ah, there. Onusa. But I don't know if my father will lend it to me. I'll go ask. I'll go ask him. Lukaku makes a quick bow and runs off toward his house, which is on the shrine grounds. Meanwhile, Mayuri takes her pocket watch out of her bag to check the time. It's a very old watch, not the sort you expect a high school girl to carry. I mean, I had a, that kind of watch in high school. I was very much a nerd though. Its name is Pocket Free. Pocket Free. I didn't name mine though. Obviously, that's the name Mayuri gave it. Not its brand name or anything. Ever since ele elementary school, Mayuri has carried Pocket Free with her everywhere. It's her most important treasure. Did we send her a, me a message to keep it? I don't know. Um, well, time for me to go to work. <laughs> Your best. You're going straight home afterwards. Uh, yep, uh -huh. I'm Akita. Mayuri lives in Ikebakuru. She comes to Akibar by train just about every day. Akiba. It should be obvious since we're shallowed friends and all, but I live in Ikebakuru too. Though I've been staying at the lab since summer break began. Uh -huh. See you tomorrow, Akarin. Mm -hmm. Don't call me Akari. I call Mayuri to stop before she trots off. Uh. Wait, Mayuri! Back out to where can. You heard a man scream, right? Uh, scream? Uh. Mayuri blinks several times and puts her finger to her temple in her. If in thought, then she gives her usual smile. Uh. When was that? Again? Uh. This afternoon. Uh, I think I don't think I have anything. Hmm. Oh, well, all right. Then ask about the Upa. I can answer video. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Mayor leaves this time for good. For good? Really? No, she pauses to wave at least a half dozen dozen time before disappearing beyond the archway. Ah, thanks for waiting, Akabe-san. Lukaku returns shortly after Mayuri leaves. In his hand is the white zigzag thing I asked for, the Osuba. That'll be buried, thank goodness. Ah, did Mayuri-san leave? Don't worry about Mayuri. Begin the exorcism at once, Lukaku. Ah, okay, but do you really want me to do it? What exactly am I exorcising anyway? Lukaku is flustered. Is he really up to this? I'm beginning to doubt. Well, a moment ago you were like, I handled this on my own, I just need a thing. And then it was like, no, you need to be here, do this. I should have known better. The instant doubt touches my heart, a terrible chill shouts, shuts up my spine. Gah, it's the evil spirit in my arm. What? 
I grab my violently shaking wrist. I am like Brim. Jim Carrey here in Liar Liar with the claw. Be still, foul spirit. Hooray, the cuckoo. It's trying to take over. I know I have the camera on. We don't do in face camera, so why? Am I playing with my hand like it's the claws trying to take me over, like in Liar Liar? <sighs> no, no way! Please hang in there, Akabisa. Hang in there. He's way too trusting. Uh, I, I'm not Akabisa. Ah! Um, I'm, I'm sorry, Kuyama-san. Ah, uh, but what did I? What did I? Like I told you. Ah, ah okay, okay. Ah. With a serious look on his face, Lukaku grabs the Onusa with both hands as if it were a sword. His stance is impressive. I taught him well. Ah, I'm, I'm. Um, uh, his face is red and he can barely talk. It looks like he wants to say something, but he's hesitating. Panicking because he feels awkward? <laughs> Amateur. Please! Uh, Luca! Expel the, this spirit uh, from me! <gasps> Lukaku starts crying. Looks like he's really worried. Reason tells me he's a guy, but his lovely appearance makes me feel guilty, like I made a frail girl cry. You shouldn't worry about that if it's a bio guy, guy or girl. But despite the tears swelling up in his eye, it looks like Lukaku's managed to work up his resolve. Uh, yeah, hear me, evil spirit. He raises the Nusa up high, shaking it left and right. Please leave from Okabe. I mean, Kuyuma san. Please leave from Okabe. I mean, Kuyuma san. That's great! Now strike my arm with those zigzags! Oh! E! E! The tip of the Nusa touches my upper arm. In an anime. This would be the cue for some dramatic shockwave to occur, but nothing like that happens. The only sound is, uh, is the shipping of the Kikadas. Did it work? I take a deep breath. The trembling in my arms has stopped. I'm okay. Looks like you drew away the evil spirit. Good job, Lukaku. Lukaku sighs in relief and blushes. Ah, I'm glad I was able to help. Ah, his shy smile really does make him look like a girl. 